This is Ryan with Stonefly Aquatic Nursery. Today we are talking about American water willow. This is not a willow tree. It does not have bark. This plant is native to the U.S. and even stretches into some parts of Canada. It is resistant to grass carp, great for erosion control and nutrient abatement, and is extremely easy to propagate. So let's get down to the boxes. So we're down here at the boxes. This is our American water willow. It's growing in about two or three inches of water and they've actually started to prepare some little buds for flowering, but they're not quite showing yet. That flower is gonna be white to purplish, but first we wanna talk about further identifying. So on my right is water willow, and on my left is smartweed. Now when smartweed is much smaller, it looks much more like water willow. So some things that I use to tell them apart is when you look at the nodes, which are these bumps that we see along the stems of smartweed versus water willow. The nodes on the smartweed are much, much larger. And as the smartweed gets taller and bigger, they're much more distinguishable compared to the water willow. Whereas with water willow, this is as big as that node is ever gonna get. It's not gonna start to look like this large bulbous thing on the stem. Also, when we look at the stems, the smartweed tends to get a lot more red, purplish hue to it, whereas the water willow keeps this almost lime green color with these darker green stripes that go all the way around. Moving on to the leaves, they do have a similar shape, but the veins of the water willow leaves are much more noticeable. They're uh, almost like a brighter white compared to the smart weed. <clears throat> the last thing I want to talk about is whenever we clip the water willow, and we'll try to get a picture of this to show it a little better, you can see these spots inside that stem. Those are part of the xylem, and those are not nearly as distinguished in the smart weed. And I'm going to clip part of the smart weed to try and look a little better inside there. Yeah, so we can't really see those same dots that we're seeing inside the stem. So now we're gonna talk about propagation. So to propagate American water willow, we were talking about the nodes earlier. From each node, we can have roots or leaves emerge. And if we clip these, we can utilize those nodes to grow new plants. So every time we clip these, I wanna leave two nodes, one that can go into the soil to grow roots and one above that can continue to grow leaves. So here we have the start of a node and then a second node. So I will clip right there and we'll save that. One, two, clip, and then we've already got one, two nodes right there. So now the next thing we'll do is put these in a pot. So here's our clipping, this bottom node is what we really want in the ground so that we can get some new roots growing that's gonna be, become this new plant. Now, depending on how hard or soft your soil is, you might, not, you might be able to just push it into the ground without much force needed from you. Uh, but sometimes you may need to take your finger and put a little hole and then you'll put that new plant you propagated. What I'm doing right now is I'm pinching that dirt together so that we can compact it around that node for a couple of reasons. The main reason is to keep that in place. If we have a lot of water action that can move that plant out, it's going to go somewhere else. It might not do as well on its own. So we want to make sure that soil is compacted around it. Um, but if your soil is soft enough, you can just push it until that node is in the dirt. And we'll do that one more time with this last one. But see how this stem's a little flimsy? It's not quite got enough force, so we'll dig a little hole, push that node down, pinch some of that clay together, and that's how we propagate American water willow. So there's a little bit about American water willow. Again, it's great for erosion control, it's resistant to grass carp, really hardy plant. This is some more that we've been growing that's been doing really, really well. Thank you all for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down in the comments section, and thanks for watching.